American League West takes on the Central. Athletics on the road as Oakland goes up against the Chicago White Sox. It's the MLB on 2K Sports right now. It's all about the American League. The Chicago White Sox, they're looking to get one in front of their home fans. A look at Carlos Quentin, no doubt getting ready for... Here's a look at the offense for the Athletics, presented by Pepsi. So who are you looking at, John? Well, Mark Ellis is a guy that this team is going to be looking for some production today. He's been inconsistent throughout his career. Let's see if he can put something together and help his team get a win in this one. It'll be Rajai Davis leading us off. Last night a loss to the A's. And they've got this game more opportunities playing a three-game series against Chicago. Well, they're going to need to get back in gear because they have not played well the last few weeks. Just two and eight in their last ten games. Oh! Really bad pitch right there to ball. Here's the 1 0. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2 0. Well, how hard is it to win on the road? You uh, take a look at how this club's doing and you can see you really like to get back home. Well, you know, they definitely do have a lot of confidence when they're at home, but they have to figure out a way to get that confidence on the road also. Here's the 2 1. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Well, that's a good start. First batter, first hit. Here's Davis stretching it. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. You have to take a look at one here that probably should have ended at first base. Well, he had the burners on coming out of the batter's box and rounding first base. Great aggressiveness on his part. He didn't let up, and he gets in safely. No indecision when he got to first base. That's how you get in safely to second. And it's Coco Crisp at the plate. Hitting 311, lifetime off the White Sox. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. That is a strike. Crisp, good contact hitter. He'll try and bat on ball here. The pitcher has him right where he wants him on the defensive. He can try to throw it out of the zone and get him a chase. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. RBI chance. Kurt Suzuki would like to make contact. Well, they've got to keep an eye on Davis over there because he can run. Called strike, and Phoebe's got him on one. Velocity and location are absolutely critical. That pitch was exactly where he wanted to throw it. Cutter thought he had him, but it's one and two. Brett Suzuki looks at that one. Great pitch. KK presents the two seamer. Take a look. Number 30. Well, it looks like he froze him on the outside corner. Sure did. As a hitter, you've got to recognize a pitcher's tendencies up there. I think the pitcher had him guessing up there the pull at bat. Cut fastball in there for a call strike. Here's the delivery. That swung on and grounded up the middle. And not in time with the throw. He is safe at third. And now's a good time to take a brief look how the White Sox stack up defensively. Are you keeping an eye on anyone? Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Mark Ellis. He fouled off that first pitch of one strike count. And Mark Ellis watches that one go by. Count is even. He has averaged 204 against the White Sox. Here's a strike, bottom half of the zone, one and two now. And you can hit your spot with that kind of movement down and into the hitter. You're way ahead of the game. And Mark Ellis strikes out to call strike three. So they pick up no runs, one hit, and strand a couple. And the White Sox, their first chance is come. Dallas Braden is going to be pitching. He's starting for Oakland. And uh, as he looks at this White Sox lineup, what are they going to see from him today? Now Dallas Braden out on the mound, a guy who throws the contact. He understands he's not looking for the swing and miss. He trusts his defense to make plays behind him. He throws a lot of strikes, so the hitters have to be ready to swing the bat. First pitch on the way to Damon. Swings and misses the slider, 0-1. Now, if you got a chance to watch the game last night, you saw he took advantage of getting a pitch and hitting it out of the ballpark, hitting a solo home run. Look out. That one ran in and got it. What a way to start the game. You come in thinking I'm going to throw strikes, establish a fastball. Well, you know what? 
How about Ramirez. hitting the first batter? Not what you want to do. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Oh, Gary, we see that guy get hit with. Lined up the middle. It's scooped up. That's one. And the deuce, a double play. 6 4 3 Number double play. 15. Nice move at second base. Uh, it's a great double play. Pulling off double plays like that can really shift the momentum of the game. And Paul Canerco to bat. But leading the league in home run. Base is empty with two up. That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. Bounces up against the wall. Canerco's going for it. Presented by Pepsi, we'll show you the lineup. Ozzie Guillen's got going. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? If you want to see power in the lineup, just look at Carlos Quentin. This guy can hit it out of the ballpark and hit it out anywhere. It doesn't matter if he's pitched away, he'll take it to right. If he's pitched in, he'll hit it to left field. Great power stroke, but the thing he's been working on this year is his consistency. Here's the pitch. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. Someone explained to me how you swing late on a changeup. Unbelievable. Strike three. Clinton on a swing and a miss. He's out. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. Still scoreless. Top of the second. Clear skies and U.S. Cellular Field on the menu for this afternoon. Glad to have you with us. Adam Kennedy. That one's drilled to short. He throws. Safe at first, Number very back. late throw. Let's take a chance now to take a look at Number where the White Sox sit today in the rankings Pennings. in the American League. First in doubles, first in batting average, and they're also the number one team hitting with runners in scoring position. Oh. That batting average driving in runners. This lineup knows how to hit in the clutch. They're He's running towards second. He is safe at second base. Runs up to Bunt, gets this one down. And he boots it. That's a great situation for some offense. It's going to be Barton in his fourth season now. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0 1. On the ground to short. Up with it now. The second, there's one. And they get it. They turn two. And he comes in to score, and they've got the one nothing lead. Execution on that 6-4-3. You have to have body control around the bag. Great acrobatic turn by the second baseman. Outstanding job. Oh. That one fouled off by Sweeney. That's a strike and it's 0-2. Ryan Sweeney now time to cut that swing back. Always good coming off a three hit game the night before and gives you some confidence coming into today's game. Still 0-2. At the belt. Peavy kicks and throws. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. For the and a look at the Atlanta. hottest lineups around the league right now. Our State Farm leaderboard. The highest batting average over the last 10 games. The White Sox number one. Second, the A's. The Orioles third. Fourth, the Mariners. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, there's nothing more fun in baseball when your whole lineup is hitting the baseball. And over the last 10 games, the batting average of these two teams have been absolutely phenomenal. And that's what you love. Both teams at the top of their games offensively going at it head to head. Slider swung on and missed. Struck him out. That's going to retire the side. Second inning. Scoreboard lit up. One run on. The A's on top. One to nothing. And Beckham's in the box. He's going to start the second for the home team. Swing and a miss on that curveball. It's 0 1. 
in his career six for 15 off the A's. Strike two Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Let's see if he bounces back after last night's game striking out twice. Swing deep into right center field way way back there. Out of here goodbye home run. And they're happy to tie that one up back to an even ball game with that solo shot. Now credit the White Sox offense attacking trying to do what they can to bring this thing back evening it up tie game now let's see if they here's a swing a long high drive deep into center field and a solo home run they lead by one oh, you gotta feel for this pitcher now he's just getting pounded and after you give up that first one Steve sometimes you lose your focus and you make a fat pitch and it looks like that's what he did now you've got to let go of something negative and get yourself focused again he's not getting it done right he waved at that breaker and misses, and the an no one count. I pulled the string on that curveball, took a little bit off, and had him way out in front. Ellis able to pull that one in. You know, sometimes you have to hit them where they're not, and that was a shot right there, but he hit it right to the second baseman for an out. Here's the pitch. He swings on that 0-0 delivery, misses the fastball. Strike one. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. And Tian will take it low for a ball. And Tian swings and misses strike three. Let's watch K Cam. Take a look at the two seam fastball. And as Jim told me in the box now, right there in the top five in home runs. Can't catch up with that one. 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. And that's a strike. Tomei is going to have to hit with a little less of a cut here. Well, a lot of times movement will fool a hitter, but it looked like right here the velocity on that pitch was what caused him to swing and miss and be late. So they get the long ball working as they have two solo homers in this half of the inning. The White Sox leading now. They've got the momentum. Again, taking a look at you right there. Things have been going right for him. His ball club today, uh, last half inning, they proved productive. Now they're looking to expand that lead. Ball one. You've got this guy, Peavy. Right. And Peavy with a 1 0 delivery. He squares around and he gets this one down. That ends up foul. One foul back. The one two on its way. A smash between short and third. And TN with the catch. And be sure to tune in next Friday. It'll be Alex Rodriguez and the New York Yankees. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. All gets going at 7 p.m. Eastern. I don't know about you guys, but I'm really looking forward to that matchup. I mean, that's got a chance to be one heck of a ball game. First pitch. Head up the middle. Oh, man, was that close. That was right back at him. So he got out of the way. Almost fell over when he got to that one. Boy, there's some upper body strength on that throw. Well, you have to have great body control to play this game. He certainly sewed it there. And he got him. And here's Jack Cuss. He leads the American League and walks. He makes contact, line drive. And that is in there. The tying run is on base. That's and that's going to bring Mark well, Ellis to the plate. You know, Gary, you're right. I mean, I mean as a walk leader, uh, I mean, he has such patience at the plate. And that's the kind of patience that really rubs off on teammates. Now Przinsky positions himself, grounded up the middle, fielded by Ramirez. And they get the force at second that time. That'll do it. So Jake Peavy holding it down. And it'll be the White Sox. The top of the order is due up next. So Johnny Damon leads it off. And uh, at the plate, one of the tops and runs scored. Top five. He deals. 
It's 0-1 as he swings and misses with that fastball. Such a consistent, productive, professional hitter. You know, one of their best bats in the lineup, Gary. There's a swing and a drive deep to left field. He has to back up for it. Comes away with the out. Shortstop. To number 10. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. 0 for 1 thus far. Well, they're leading in this one, Gary, and obviously the defense a major part of it. Two high-quality defensive plays right there. And here's the first one. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. Out of here, a home run. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 14. And he starts Canerco out. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. This is a really momentum field home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice to the whole offense. Well, this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Now State Fire and brings you the leaderboard for the highest on base percentage in the league. In order to score runs, you have to get base runners, and these guys understand that. They find ways to get on. They'll take a hit. They'll get hit by a pitch. They'll take a walk. They'll do whatever they have to do to get on base and lead to a run score. He's number one in runs scored in the league. Starts him off with one at the knees for a strike. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's Getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Here it comes. Strike two. And strike two. Braden has him right where he wants him. Well, for a ball that had that type of movement on it, that slider had surprising velocity, and the hitter just couldn't catch up. He swung late. We'll rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. And Beckham's in the box. Two outs and a man on first. Here's the first pitch. Good pitch as he's late on that one. 0 and 1. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. It's off the wall and a hop. Tremendous situation now for the White Sox. They tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Stephen, looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what, you have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate. He took advantage of it. Let's go, Couldn't pull the trigger in time. He's behind 0-2. He delivers. You're Struck out. him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. So they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox by two. Bob Guerin on camera. This two-run deficit on his mind, I'm sure, and making plans now to try and get something across the plate for them. Oh, called strike, and pb has got him on one. one good hard cutter in for a golf strike. Well, if he can throw this cutter down the way like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. Ground ball towards the second baseman. And Kennedy is retired. I'll take a chance here right now to see where the Athletics sit in the American League. He was first in triples, third in walks, and a pitching staff that has power stuff that can hit their spots, showing they can get it done. Top five ranking in strikeouts. Power arms on this staff. And he lays it down. He'll try to beat it out. Peavy. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. So Derek Barton will come up now. The smart hitter, before he steps in the batter's box, checks the corner infield, where they're playing, how close they are. And if he sees bunt, you got to be ready when you get your pitch to deliver. Good piece of hitting. One. 
Back to first, not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner in second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Here's the first pitch. Ball strike, and Peavy's got him on one. Well, this breaking ball down and in that goes to the back foot of the hitter is very difficult to hit. Very few guys are able to put that one in play. Solid outing moves on here, Jake Peavy. And if you just joined us, our broadcast of Major League Baseball on 2K Sports with John Crook and Steve Phillips, I'm Gary Thorne. Leading it off, A.J. Brzezinski. And right now, top five in runs batted in in the league. Swinging and a miss, and he falls behind on the count 0 and 1. Just a solid offensive player day in and day out, and a guy that uh, really can deliver for this offense. Pitch on the way. Swing and a miss on the breaker. One down. A textbook way of pitching. Three pitches, three strikes. Outstanding command during that at bat. And Mark T into bat. In the top ten and hits. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. Swing and a shot to third. And that'll put Tien on first. Now look at the leaderboard courtesy of State Fire and the pitching staffs who are piling up the K's. The Yankees number one. Second, the Rangers. The Red Sox third. The A's fourth. Number five, the Royals rounded up. Well, you look at how a team wins and loses ball games, and a lot of it can depend on can a pitcher strike someone out? Well, this team has a whole staff of guys that can do it. Think about this, too. The starting pitcher gets in trouble. You have to bring in a reliever, and he can come in and punch guys out to thwart a rally. That's why this team is one of the best pitching teams in baseball. So there's a swing, and a ball hit deep to right field. Still going back. And out of here, a home run, two runs, one swing. Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 18. One out, nobody on. First pitch on the way to Damon. Slider swung on a miss. 0 and 1. Now we talk about a game of production, Steve. Uh, the home run, the runs, they are piling up in this game and so early. And that's why they really need to get this offense shut down now, or this game could get out of control. Back up the middle. He dives and he's up with it. And it's in time from his knees to get the out. Number 10. Tremendous play right here and took a good arm to complete it. Well, it's one thing to get to the ball and make the play. It's another thing to make that accurate a throw from your knees. Great job. He's been chosen to take over out there. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. He's in the top echelon of hits right now. Throws on to first side is retired. They add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. The White Sox, four run lead. Left fielder. Davis into the batter's box. I was coming off game last night where he had two big hits, and looks like he's starting to get locked in a little bit. And the first pitch. Strike and he one. tries to lay off, does, but it's a called strike, nothing in one. Swung on and a grounded to first. And he'll step on the back. That'll be the first out. Now look at the race for the title in the Western Division. Brought to you by State Farm. The Mariners first place. Second place, the Angels. In third, it's the A's. And it's the Rangers in four. A decent play from the Oakland Athletics so far this year. About where we expected them to be. And you know, in the heart of that division, but certainly not at the top just yet. And Suzuki's in the box. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. First pitch is a cutter. Looked at 0-1. And you can throw the ball down to the zone with that kind of movement. It can be very effective. Oh! And Kurt Suzuki watches that one go by. That'll even up the count. Today he'd love to duplicate what he did last night when he picked up four big base hits. 
And that swung on and hit. Rios. And that's out number three. And a good defensive half inning. Three up, three down. White Sox. And Paul Caderco to lead it off. He's the league leader in ribbies. Number 14, Paul Caderco. And he starts Canerco out. Swings and misses the slider. 0 oh 1. Well, he's having some kind of offensive season, Gary, really in the middle of everything this team's doing offensively. Strike two. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. That's well, just a great pitch right there. I mean, that's the hardest pitch for a hitter to try to stay back on. That's why he was out in front of that one. Spotted by Suzuki. That's it foul by Canerco. The one two pitch. Oh, and Paul Canerco watching that one go by to even the count up. I drove in a couple runs in the ball game last night. Curveball got him one away. That's a hard biting curveball right there with great, great. Number Awfully tough to put in place. One right through. And Quinton settles in. He's the league leader in hits. On the way. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense is somebody they've really come to rely upon. Strike two. strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes, Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Well, right there, there was a lot of indecision right there on the hitter. He thought fastball, he saw a slider, but he saw it too late. That's why he swung late. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. And Beckham's in the box. First pitch. Line shot into center field. And he gets it down. That's his third hit. Three for three. So that brings Alex Rios to the plate. He homered earlier in the ballgame. Runner on first. Two away. And he starts Rios out. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Uh, he tuned into the game last night. You saw his home run. That's getting the job done. You're in scoring position when you're at home plate. This ball is hammered. Deep right. It's up against the wall on the bounce. And he's going to try for it. He's in there. Wow, tremendous hustle all the way from first. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Well, I was already to mark this down on the card as a double and put another line in there. Well, he didn't let up at all, Gary. Great effort on his part. Took a chance, but he made it. Amazing thing is he was able to do it standing up. It's going to be Przinsky. And Steve, the offense continues to produce. They keep building on it. Gary, that last hit just blows the door wide open right there. I mean, they've got a shot at running away with this thing. And then the other thing they know is they've got time and outs on their side. Strike and two. that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Uh, Gary, you're right. I mean, listen, as a result of... There's a swing towards the hole. And Kennedy's there to retire the side. So well, they score once on two hits, one man left. White Sox, they've got a command. It's Jack Cuss now. One for two in the ballgame. Number 32, Jack Cuss. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. The pitch. Ground ball to short. And Ramirez feels the ball. And that'll retire Cuss. Chance here to see the pitching staffs with the lowest ERA for the month brought to you by State Farm. Number one, the Angels. Second, the A's. Blue Jays, third. Indians, fourth. And the Mariners, fifth. We take a look at these low ERAs right here. It really points to a philosophy for the organization. Limit the damage. Don't give up the multiple runs in an inning. And that swung on and hit. Rios. Now batting. The catch is made. The Oakland Athletic, third baseman. Number 20. Kennedy at the plate. Adam Kennedy. Numbers over his career, 255 off the White Sox. Here's the first pitch. Right Called strike, and Phoebe's got him on one. Right 
Hill one delivery curve swung on a miss. Oh and two. Cut fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Three up, three down for Jake Beebe. He's in line for a win and a good lead to work with. And it'll be the one. And if you are just coming on board, Gary Thorne, Steve Phillips, John Crick, as we bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And Mark Tiana, and one of the top ten averages right now, swings and misses at the fastball, 0-1. He's getting it done all season long, Gary, and a guy they're really looking to count on. And that's a strike. Mark Tian's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. He got him there. That was a nice strikeout. And Jim Tomey. Lifetime. He's got a 285 average off Oakland. Tomey gets in. Here's the first delivery. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1. He deals, and he leaves that pitch alone. Jim Tomei with patience evens the count. Well, that's a pretty good pitch right there. That's one of those pitches you throw it out there and you hope the hitter chases it. He laid off, though. Now it's a battle. The one-two on its way. Fastball got him two down. That's working in a hurry right there. He didn't mess around wasting pitches. But what they did, that pitch selection did, Gary, was keep the hitter off balance. When you don't waste pitches, you put the hitter back on his heels. And it's Johnny Damon. That ball is swung on and hit a long way. Deep into right center field. Gone! Goodbye home run! Well, I don't know what's going wrong for these guys. Extending their lead to six solo. Big shot. White Sox lead expanded here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Number 10, Alexi. Two outs and nobody on. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Swings and misses. The good change right there. 0 and 1. Steve, this has been an unbelievable offensive show and contributing to it the long ball. Well, you're right. I mean, every single time the pitcher made a mistake, it's been getting knocked around the ballpark. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. Well, they pick up a run on the home run and add to their lead. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. And you're looking at Bob Guerin. The thoughts of the manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's he's got some words for that next practice. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Oh, Look, Gary, with this big lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes, get outs right now. That fastball trails low, one and one. Good action on that cut fastball down in the zone. Hitter just laid off. 1-1 one, one pitch, slider, taken for a strike, 1-2. and two. Well, this starts out a strike, and it ends up a strike. you got to swing the bat. Ball, Ball two. 2. The 2-2 two, two pitch. Oh. And it's fouled off. He delivers. Good cutter. Swung on and missed for the first out. With two strikes. The hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. Base is empty with one away. First pitch on the way. That's a strike. Peavy gets it by him. Okay, one out here in the seventh inning. I mean, you have to like the way this is going. They're looking good. The pitcher's throwing strikes. Swung on, hit softly to left. And that's a base hit. Barton credited with it. That'll bring now Ryan Sweeney up. For the We're getting right up in the trading deadline. This is the Central Division at this point. Brought to you by State Farm. First place, the White Sox. Twins in the second spot. Third, the Royals. In the fourth spot, it's the Indians. Hit on the ground over to shortstop. And it's picked up. And there's one. But he'll hang on to that, so they will get one. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. A runner on first with two outs. At the belt, Peavy kicks towards the middle. 
Peavy. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. No runs on a hit, and they'll strand him. Loosen him up. Seventh inning stretch time on the south side. And Paul Cadero will lead it off. Now they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more toward offense. It's just odd to make this move right now. Hit sharply towards the hole. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Which teams are leading the way in offense? Well, let's have a look. Our State Farm leaderboard. Number one, the White Sox. The Yankees second. Third spot, the Red Sox. The Twins fourth. And for the Blue Jays, they are in fifth. Well, you talk about a high octane offense. This team. There's a swing high and deep into center field. Way, way back there. Gone. A two run homer. Two run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. And Beckham's in the box. For the Chicago White Sox, second baseman, number 15. Jordan Beckham. Base is clear, no outs. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs, and it just deflates your own team. So, offense ruling the day. Screwball swung out and missed first down. 81 miles per hour and a big old breaker. Well, just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And he starts Rios out. Plays off a called strike of the knees, 0 and 1. Well, if he can locate the screwball like he is now, throwing it down and in, he's going to be awfully tough. Swung out and missed strike two. Be a successful major league pitcher, you cannot be afraid to pitch inside. That's a good example of it right there. Look out. Now Rung him up. Strike three. Count that one as a K. But Gary, these guys don't know what to do with this screwball. That's two hitters in a row. They better go talk about it, figure out a different approach. Here's the delivery. Comes a little early that time. 0-1. Oh. Good eye by A.J. Pierzynski lays off that one, an even count. Well hit towards the middle, and that'll put Pierzynski on first. That brings up Mark Tian. The story of power hitting. State Farm brings you a look at the long ball league lead. Uh, this is a list of guys that when they get in there, they're looking to do some damage to really hurt the opposition. Looking to drive the ball. It's not just about contact. It's about hard contact. Yeah, Andrew Bailey's going to be pitching. He's been brought in to take over for the Athletics. Try it again here. Just one for three thus far. There's a swing. A ball hit high and deep. Straight away left field. Over the wall. Goodbye. A two-run homer. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. Number 27, Jim Norman. Base is empty and two down. Tomei gets in. Here's the first delivery. Strike mm one. -mm. Chases that one. It's high, but it's a strike. Only one career at bat prior to this one. Looking for his first lifetime off Andrew Bailey. Can't catch up with that swing and a miss, and it's now 0-2. Struck him out. Boy, is he glad this inning's over. But not before they tally four times, thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ballgame. Number two hole set to get things started. And it's Coco Crisp now. Three, 
At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Watches that one up there, called strike one. Well, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come all the way back. They need to try to do something now. There's a swing and a liner, and that'll put Crisp on it first. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. They finish up this Oakland series tomorrow. Following that, they'll be on the road to play the Tigers and uh, one of the game's best hitters, Miguel Cabrera. A team they didn't have too much trouble with in their previous series. That's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Then they have yet another venue. Baltimore Orioles will be hosting. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. When you can hit your spot oh. with that kind of movement down and into the hitter, you're way ahead of the game. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Oh. Swings and grounds this one to the right side. Foul. Swing and a miss on a heater. Strike him out one down. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. A good job of keeping him guessing by changing speeds out there. Boy, John, you saw the effect of that. That swing, he wasn't even in the same time zone. But going from off speed to a heater like that is never easy. And even guys that make the big bucks have a hard time adjusting. Here's the first pitch to Cusk. And swing and a miss on Peavy's pitch. 0-1. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to jump. Hit on the ground, up the middle. He picks it up. That's one out. And he's going to hang on to it. No relay. So they will not get the double play. Well, they get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. And it's Mark Ellis at the plate. No hits yet, but he'll get another chance right here. Looked like a cutter that time for a called strike. Look, Gary, I think right now that... Uh, You've got to consider trading outs for runs if, if you're pitching. I mean, listen, they just keep getting outs right now. You're, the countdown's there. You only need four outs left to win this ballgame. Swing and a soft liner up the middle. And that gets down. Ellis with a single. Now Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Third baseman. Well, that Number pitch down and away is the toughest Adam in the game Kenny. to hit. A perfect pitch from the pitcher. Great piece of hitting. And keep that in mind. Next time around, we'll see whether or not he changes up and how he throws to this guy. First pitch on the way. Taps this one oh. foul off to the left. Here's the 0-1 from Peavy. Good movement to that cutter, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. Well, if he could throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. You're Struck out. him out. That's number eight in the game. No runs with a couple of hits and two left on. Now time for the White Sox. This is their chance in the home half of the eighth. And so Johnny Damon leads it off. I think you're losing a little something here. I don't think this guy's nearly as solid defensively as the one he's replacing, so interesting move. First pitch on the way to Damon. Cutter just misses. 1-0. and oh. The 1-0 pitch. Smash towards the middle. And so Damon retired. That's one away. Number 10. And it's Alexei Ramirez now. One away. Drove in a run earlier in the game. We play after play. He's impacted this game with his glove and driven in a run as well. But how about the defense? I mean, unbelievable. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. And a ground ball to Martin. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Oh, Alexi Ramirez's season so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Second in doubles, third most in hits. And you can see that he's also not just a punch and duty guy. He's a guy that slugs the ball ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. A guy that drives the ball every time he goes to the plate. And that's by Emo and one. Bailey with a delivery. 
Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. Tough spot for the hitter, down 0-2. You got to protect right now. Able to set him down there, chuck that one up as a strikeout. Now we're going to get a chance, Gary, to see the four-seam fastball in KK. Carlos Quinton at the plate with two away. First pitch to Quinton. Cut fastball, swung on and missed, 0-1. Two outs in this inning, but a man on first base. And Gary, you know, they, they've just got to find a way to get it out. Get a ground ball, get the force out at second. Get in there and see if he can't score some runs. And Quentin's got himself a base hit. And now, courtesy of State Farm, here's a chance to view the league's best RBI producer. Oh, these are the kind of guys that decide games right here. They thrive on situations with runners on base to come up and deliver, and they have been getting it done. Two men on and two men out. First pitch, here it comes. Swing and a miss. Good pitch from Bailey. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Strike two. Strike two. Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. It's off the wall hard. There's the throw, and Ramirez is home, and Quinton scores too. And he'll stop at second base. That'll be a 2-1 double. Number 51, Alex Rios. Oh, that big hit right there. He only needs a triple to complete the cycle. But hey, that's the toughest one to get. Let's see if he can do it. Here's Alex Rios now, RBI chance. Look at the matchup, 246 against the A's. A smash. Two-run homer just adds to a terrific hitting game they've had. Number two on the day for him, Gary. That means that bat's right on target. Well, he's picking up the ball very well. They have not figured out a way how to shut down this White Sox offense today. They look so good. AJ Kurzinski. Two outs, bases empty. And the first pitch. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. And Steve, uh, this is the point in the ball game where you are really putting it to the opposition. The long ball can do that to you late. Well, there's no question. I mean, you give up those home runs, and it just deflates your own team. So, offense ruling the day. Well, that half inning uh, came to a close. A strikeout ended it. So they add a four spot here to extend their lead even further. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. Latter third of the lineup coming up. A look at the manager, Ozzy Guillen. He has to be very pleased right now riding this one out. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. And he watches a cut fastball to start the at bat for strike one. I think right now, offensively, you've got to start getting base runners. Get as many as you can. I mean, you're down a ton, so you don't need big hits. You don't need home runs. You need base runners. Got him. Ninth strikeout of the game. With two strikes, the hitter wanted the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. It's going to be Barton. Base hit his last time. One out, nobody on. And the first pitch. Right one. Right 
Strike two. Strike two. Peavy dominating in this A.B. He's got some pitches to play with. Well, if he can throw this cutter down and away like this, he's going to be very effective. That's an outstanding pitch. I mean, the got him. Strikeout number 10 today. Here's the slider coming right at you in K-Cam. You get a better look at that. Well, you see him go after the inside part of the plate here. Boy, he really did. He just bombarded the inside half of the plate. Well, and as a hitter, you just have to get your timing down a little bit better. And he certainly didn't have it there. And here's the first one. A line drive towards short. And that's going to be a base hit for Sweeney. Coming so we have a moment to check out the stats who have been giving hitters fits this past month, courtesy of State Farm. The Angels number one, second the A's, the Blue Jays third, Indians fourth, and the Mariners fifth. You look at those low opponents batting averages and it really points to the fact how tough these teams are to hit against. Very difficult. They just seem to find ways to make pitches and keep the ball off the good part of the bat of the hitters. Here's Davis's first look. Oh! Davis making contact, but he'll foul that one away. At the belt, Peavy kicks and throws. Ball. Curveball, thought he had him, but it's one and two. Hit on the ground, this could be the end. And that'll do it, everybody. That's out number three, this ball game over. White Sox win this in a lopsided victory. A dominating performance, Gary. And we get a moment to recognize the Pepsi Clutch performer. A terrific mound game. The work of Jake Peavy. Well, you know, Gary, you look at the ball strike ratio today, and it's just outstanding what this young man did. And managers love it when their pitchers are throwing strikes, but also fielders do, because you know that any chance you have, the ball's put in play. Problem is, this team didn't put many in play. Struck out over 10 hitters in this game, but it does keep your team fresh and your head's in the game. Great job. Steve, it seemed like they knew from the get-go they had it. This was going to be their day, and they were right. Now, you and I like the close games just because there's a little more intrigue for all nine innings, but the hometown fans, they like the offensive explosion and the big win. This is Gary Thorne with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.